What is going on everybody and today I'm here with another NBA 2K16 historic My League rebuild and in this one we are doing the 2008-2009 LA Clippers. So we this team I'm pretty sure won like 17 games. Um I actually have it up on my computer now. So we they did go 19 and 63 and they did actually end up with the number 1 overall pick that year. But this is the team uh John J. Jordan's only 21. Uh, and he's making his normal contract now, but the best players, Ricky Davis, we got Zach Randolph, Eric Gordon, Baron Davis, who looks like DeAndre Jordan, uh, just a little bit. And then you got Chris Kamen, Al Thornton, Steve Novak, Marcus Camby, it's just for this roster, this guy had Blake Griffin as a 53 overall, so I'm just going to release him to free agency. Just because I know, like, with these rosters, it kind of gets screwed up, because if you go to free agents that's the free agents like all these players that weren't in the league yet are free agents and it's annoying but i'm not going to cheat the game and sign any of them i'm just going to go along with how this team is going so this is going to be the rotation for season one i really want to do bad but i would also like to trade deandre jordan just to get his contract away i don't know they why they have him as a point guard uh that's pretty dumb but i will do this trade with the bucks so i don't know why they would even do that and do i want to trade anybody else uh, Baron Davis, I'm fine with giving him 6 million. Eric Gordon, he might be gone at the end of the year, so I could trade Eric Gordon as well. And I don't know if I'm gonna go for Blake Griffin, I might not. Uh, I might go for either James Harden or Stephen Curry would be nice. So I can get Michael Red. Uh, but he's making a hefty amount. He looks like Chris Middleton in that picture. Um, Gerald Wallace is interesting. Carlos Boozer and Paul Millsap. Oh, that Paul Millsap. Ooh, Sacramento's first round pick this year. That's, okay, I'm gonna do that trade. Uh, yeah, there's no trade that enticed me more than that one. So let's do that trade. And we're giving up Eric Gordon, who they ended up flipping in that Chris Paul trade. But I don't think it's going to be possible for us to get Chris Paul as of now. I might try to end up getting him before this episode is over, or the series, or this video, I should say, is over. So I'm going to simulate season one. You guys, are, this is the rotation. First scoring option could be uh, Zach Randolph, then it could be Ricky Davis, then it could be Baron Davis. So I'll see you guys at the end of season one. Well, Braun James. In his first stint with the Cavaliers, wins MVP, 28 points, seven and a half boards, and about eight assists. Marcus Soule's rookie of the year. Um, yeah, so he was actually a rookie in this as a second round pick, so that's cool to see. Uh, Marcin Gortat, six minute there. He was backing up Dwight Howard on the Magic, and he had a great year. I might actually trade for him. He's really good in this. Yeah, I could actually make a trade because he's making pretty cheap contract for his overall and uh, stats wise. So. Dwight Howard, and then there's his starting mate. Uh, Dwight Howard wins defensive play of the year for the Magic as 23. He is a beast. Uh, Carlos Boozer, most improved player, still on the Jazz, has not made his way to Chicago yet. And Brad Stevens, coach of the year for the Celtics. Dwayne Wade, T Mac, LeBron, KD, and Gasol, All NBA first team, All NBA second team is Vince Carter. Monta Ellis on the Warriors still. He had a beastly year. Melo on the Nuggets, Al Horford, and Brooke Lopez, All NBA second team, All NBA third team. It's John Wall who the Bucks signed. Yeah, that's going to be annoying. But there's nothing I can do. Russell Westbrook, Pau Gasol on the Lakers, Carlos Boozer, and Dwight Howard win that award. And all rookie first team, it's going to be. Um, actually, yeah, they're all rookies from. The 2008 year, that's cool. That was a nice draft class. These two UCLA mates. Kevin Love and Westbrook. And then these ones, it's a mix. I don't know why Alonzo Mourning is in there. Julio Okafor, uh, Eric Gordon, so the guy we traded away. He had a nice year. But we're here. We went 27-55, so eight games better than they did in real life. The We were the third worst team in the West. But we do have the Kings pick, baby. 14 wins they got. And we're going to have two of the top four picks at least stats why zach randolph was a beast for us i don't know how much he's going to be asking back for 27 year old actually we have him under contract for next year so i'm fine with him at that starting power forward position rookie davis was solid as well this year uh baron davis was good too and then it was chris came and uja and then kind of a crap shoot after that so wait is that victor oladipo that yeah that's victor oladipo's face so we're just gonna go through the playoffs here and who's gonna win it all and then i'll show you guys who retires and like what happens like that so it is going to be the Phoenix Suns. They win it, I'm guessing, with Steve Nash. Obviously, we can check out, yep, Nash, Amari, Drogic. I'm guessing they don't have Gortat at this point. They have Shaq, though, who's a 90 overall. I kind of hope he retires just to get him out of the Western Conference, and they beat the Celtics. Nash is your finals MVP. So KG retires. Um, I'm actually going to override the... Actually, he's 40 in this. I don't know why. What is Nash? 42. I guess they didn't fix their ages. 
Grant Hill. Oh, I don't want him retiring. Sam Cassell. Jason Capono. A three-point specialist. Okay, so those are the people that retire. Garnett, Allen, and Nash all head to the Hall of Fame. I would if they were still, like, in their 20s. I would override it. So, uh, let's skip to the NBA draft. See what pick we get. Hopefully, it's the number one and number two. So, I can maybe land, like, Curry and Griffin. Uh, not, or, yeah, Griffin. Or Curry and Harden. I might want to switch it up. So, let's see what picks we have. Please don't give me three and four. One and five. Okay, so that's nice. Um, I don't think I showed you guys the scouting yet, the prospects in it. There's only like 10 real prospects, or there's one more. So we have like Omar Caspi, Hashim Tibet, James Johnson, Tower Hands Bro down there. And that's it for like for all the way down. Then you have like Jordan Hill, Brandon Jennings, Rubio, Curry, Griffin. So I want to get at least two of these three uh, on this team. I'd like to get Curry and Harden because that would be pretty dope. Uh, so I'm going to try to get into the number two pick. Uh, if I had to trade Ricky, and Ricky Davis is actually on a nice contract. Baron Davis, what could I get for the number two pick? Let's see, let's see. Who has the number two pick? Because I don't know if Griffin's going to go number one or not. This, uh, I would have to give up Zach Randolph, Baron Davis. Okay, this is the, ch ooh, no, 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 no. I don't want to give up that Kings pick. What if I give up my fifth pick? And Igudala. Wait, no, that's actually a really nice deal. I'll give my 2019 and this pick for Igudala. Okay, uh, please do this. I'm giving up the number five pick, right? Oh, I don't want to give up Zach Randolph. No, what if I gave up? Like, I would give up Baron Davis for this, because if I get Curry, he's not going to be here. And I don't have to take that East Young. So what's the problem with this trade? Uh, 76 would have too many players. So you can give me... Woo -woo. <sighs> Damn it. Um, okay, I'll take away that guy. No, I don't want to give you Zach Randolph. Oh, this is annoying. What was the original trade? It was Igudal in the number two pick for the number one pick and that guy. So what if I took away that, that, and I added in that first, Baron Davis, and that fifth, and the second. Did I just do that? Oh, they're not going to do it. All right. So I'm not going to get Igudal. Uh, I don't mind giving up Baron Davis and the number fifth pick. Of course they will have too many players. This is going to be annoying. Thad Young... Oh my god, they only have three people under contract. I don't want to give up the number one pick, though. Okay, what if I give up the number... Okay, I think I know how to do this. I'm going to get the number three pick, then the third pick in the draft. Whoever has it, the Warriors do. So let me get it from the Warriors for the fifth and a future first. Fifth and Baron Davis. I'll do the fifth and Baron Davis, yeah. Or this Blake Griffin. Yeah, I'll do the fifth and just Baron Davis. No. Okay, they want me to give up that first. I'll just do that with Blake Griffin. <laughs> All right, so see you, Blake. You 54 overall point guard and a f uh, future first round pick, which is kind of rough. What if I didn't do that? What if I just took Bo Outlaw. Ricky Davis, I don't want to get. Oh, I can get Monta Ellis. Ooh, that's interesting, but I'm not going to do that. I don't want that. So what was the original trade? I'll just give up that first round pick. All right, because I think we'll be pretty solid next year anyway. So let me go back to the 76ers and try to get that second round pick. That second round, that second overall pick. I would have to give up Baron Davis and the number one. I don't want to give up the number one. I want to give up the number three. Okay. This is going to be very annoying. All right, you know what? I'm just going to go into the draft with the number one and number three. Uh, the first and the third pick. And just hopefully Baron, uh, Blake Griffin goes number two. And I'll see you guys when I'm in the draft. All right, guys. Here with the number one overall pick. Uh, who's project Curry's projected three. Harden's projected one. So I'm going to take Harden. Now 76ers. Please take Blake Griffin. Please take Blake Griffin. I know it's Harden spelled wrong, and it's Jamal Harden, not James Harden. Okay, I'm going to fix his name. But please, Clippers, take Blake Griffin. Not the Clippers, the Sixers. Please don't take Curry. Don't take Curry. Don't take Curry. Please. No, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. They take Steph Curry. Oh, that's rough. All right. So let me try to see if this 2K thing is still screwed up. And if I can trade the third for Steph Curry, I can, baby. Giving up Baron Davis for Steph Curry, I don't care. I want to get Curry and Harden on the same team. I'll see you guys at Ricky Sonics, but I'm also going to edit their player profiles. All right, guys, so I'm just going to edit them at the start of the regular season because I can't add them yet. But we're going to be bringing Harden and Curry, so that's our backcourt for the pretty much the remainder of the video. Uh, don't have to do anything there. Out the order, I'm not bringing back. Marcus can be. For a million, I'll bring back. Uh, LeBron declines, Wade declines. Okay, one of these players, like Paul Pierce, I need a small forward. I need a small forward and a center. So let me go after one of them. Uh, Beno Udra, I'm not gonna bring back as of now. Yeah, I'm not gonna bring any of these guys back. Actually, I should have just brought back Novak. But 
let's see. F free agency. 55 million to spend. Okay, this is good. This is good. Co what? Co come again? Co Kobe Bryant's a 99 overall in free agency. Oh my god. <laughs> this free agency class is stacked. Draymond Green is here. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Just look at this talent. Oh my god. We have 55 million in the right year to spend. Oh my god. I don't know who to go for. I need a center and a small forward. Those are the positions I need. I'm sorry, Kobe. I'm not going to get you. Even though I would want to, it would be dope to get. But I wouldn't do that to the city of LA. Bring you to the Clippers. Oh, man. I don't need... Because I have Harden and Curry now. So, LeBron James, I'm definitely going to give an offer to. I'll give him $25 million, four years, player option. That's the most it lets me give him. So, let's offer to him. Paul Pierce. I'll give, let me give him $24 million, player option. I'm not going to give him no trade clause. And then anybody else I really don't want. Center-wise, Yao Ming, I would love to bring him here. How much money can I give him? That's the max I can give him. And a player option. Okay. Dwight Howard, I would also love to, for you to come to LA. Alonzo Morning, I'm not going to do that. Alright. And if anything goes bad, I might just go for like KG. And then move him to center or something like that. Ben Wallace would be cool. I could play Ben Wallace at center. Uh, Four-year deal, player option. Maurice Stoudemire would be cool. Because then I could just flip Zach Randall for a center. Which... Could always just work out. And Boozer, I'm not going to bring back uh, here. And Gasol will offer a deal, I guess, for 24 and that. So, do I want to offer Gilbert Arenas? No, I'm not going to offer any point guard. Uh, I do want to offer one of these guys. I would honestly, I'm going to offer Kobe Bryant a deal just because why not? I feel like I have to. Dwayne Wade, I'll offer a deal. I'll think about it if they accept. But I don't think all these guys. Actually, T Mac, I could play at small forward. So, let's actually offer T Mac a deal just in case LeBron doesn't come here. So let me simulate a day. Come on. Okay, we get a lot of players. So Pierce accepts another offer. I got to wait on Ming and Howard. But I did get these big men. Okay, LeBron. LeBron, do I want him to come here? Yes, I... Oh, but I got Kobe too. Kobe or LeBron. Kobe or LeBron. I feel like I can't do that to the city of LA and switch Kobe's teams. I can't do that. So let's bring in LeBron. I could bring in, like, one of these guys right now, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna wait on the... Big men, so I'm going to offer Yao Ming a deal again. I'm going to offer Dwight Howard a deal again. And I'm going to offer these big men a deal again. Uh, Gasol, four-year deal, player option. Why are their interests unknown? All right. No trade clause. Uh, four-year deal, player option, yes. So we did bring in LeBron, which is pretty sick, not going to lie. I am happy with that. All right, so do we get any of these guys? Damn it, Yao Ming and Howard don't. I couldn't bring Wade in, but I'm not going to. Actually, I could bring Kobe in, but I think he signed. Uh, Amari, I'm not going to sign them yet. McGrady goes to the Rockets. All right. I want Yao Ming to come. Or Dwight Howard. All right. Let's see what we get. They're still mulling offers. That's so annoying. Wait. We're like their only offers, too. Uh, come on. Just accept our deal. And I'm just going to offer Amari a deal. And Gasol, I'm not even going to offer a deal. Okay, we get Dwight Howard. I'm sorry, Yaming, but I'm not going to bring you here. We bring in Dwight Howard. Do I have bird rights on anybody else that I can sign for one-year deals? Yes, I can. And let's just see what we got here. Novak comes here. Yaming goes to the Mavericks. All right. Beno Uja comes here. And I'm just going to let the CPU sign players. So let's simulate here to player progression. And we're going to have a pretty stacked team. Not going to lie. Player progression. LeBron is a 98 for some reason, he's only 20. Actually, would he be 22 if he came out of high school? Uh, five years pro. He might be. Yeah, he's about 23, 24 at this time, 22. Was he really? No way. He was like 27 when he went to the cat. I don't even know. This is confusing as hell right now. But we have Dwight Howard, who's a 92 overall. Zach Randolph's an 81. Harden's an 80. Curry's a 79. Ricky Davis, I'm probably going to trade this year so i'll see you guys at the end of next year's regular season i'll probably trade ricky davis and i'll tell you guys who i traded for him uh at the end of next year all right guys end of season two kd wins mvp wow uh he was a beast for the thunder and this would be his what second year in the nba third year in the nba blake griffin rookie of the year wow for the bucks he ended up for 
Not on the Sixers. They traded him mid-year or something. That's weird. Nicholas Batum, six man of the year for the Rockets. Joakim Noah won deep. Oh my god. 15 and a half rebounds. And he averaged six assists too. That's crazy. Anthony Tolliver, most of the free player. And Tony Brown, whoever that is, the coach for the Nets. OMB, first team is Westbrook, Kemba, Durant, Melo, Gasol. Uh, OMB, second team, you got Kobe on the Celtics. No, he went to the Celtics 2K. You can't do him like that. Carter on the Nets. Pau Gasol went to the Nets. That team is nice. On the third team, you got DeRozan on the Heat. Uh, Wade on the Grizzlies. Aldridge on the Trailways still. Millsap on the Jazz. And then Noah on the Hornets. He's not even on the Bulls now. And uh, that was all defensive first team. All defensive second team. Curry, 20 points. Okay, I'll show you guys the stats later for those guys. But first seed in the West. I think we deserve 58 and 24. Second best record in the NBA behind these Nets who are just insane. We have Jeff T, Carter, Delvey, Gasol. Actually, they're not that crazy. Richard Jefferson isn't here anymore, and it's same with uh, Jason Kidd. But uh, I'll show you guys the stats why it's LeBron. Mm, 22 points a game, but still, he's a 99 overall now. Curry, 20 points, 7.5 assists. Dwight Howard, 18 and 14. Harden, 14 points, and 7.3 assists, which is nice. Uh, Randolph had 13 and 10. Crawford, who I did trade Ricky Davis for, had 10 points. And Novak, would Novak shoot from three? Uh. 46%. So that's really solid. So let's go to the rotations. Uh, Bow Outlaw. I'm sorry, you're going to get like five minutes. Maurice Harkless can get 17. I want Harden getting 36. He can get 35. Uh, Randolph can get 32. <laughs> James and Howard are getting 40. I don't know about that. Yeah, let's bump that down to 38 apiece. And then we can give Crawford 25. That is the first, second, and third scoring option. Actually, we can make Curry number two and Howard number three all right so we're taking on the Lakers who have no Kobe anymore battle of LA in round one they got John Wall who they signed Pamela Beal so the Wizards backcourt Lamar Odom still buying them Trevor Reza and they drafted Brandon Jennings I guess so round one game one we do win game one we win game two we win game three and we do sweep the Lakers in four so take it on the Pelicans in the next round um they should not have Anthony Davis yet uh, this would be the still New Orleans Hornets with Bledsoe, uh, Bledsoe, so they did get Chris Paul, I don't even know yet, but they don't have Chris Paul anymore, uh, that is the team, but where is Chris Paul actually, I don't even know, uh, where is Chris Paul, who, Suns have, oh my god, that team's sick, well, actually, I can't even do player finder, those are the upcoming free agents, if you guys were wondering, but, I think we should be able to sweep them as well. I think actually the Lakers were kind of better than this team. And yeah, we do get the sweep. So taking on the Jazz who upset the Thunder. Okay, I'll take that. They still have Darren Williams in his prime, his beastly years in Utah. These were them. Uh, double double seasons. Ray Allen is here now. Okay. Uh, Paul Millsap, Alfred Payton is here. Okay, that's just a random thing. Round one game, or round one. Round three, game one, we lose. Okay, we're down 2 0. We're down 2 1. Okay, we tied up 2 2. We're up 3-2. Oh, game seven. And winner's got to face the Nets. Come on, win this game. Win this game. Win this game, baby. Win this game. And we're going to the NBA Finals in year two. Let's go. Dwight. Oh, my God. 34-20? and 20? Only one block. Hey. <laughs> but 34-20. Jesus Christ, Howard. Let's go. We're taking on the Nets. I showed you guys them before. Uh, we can check the playoffs. That's how everyone's doing. Curry is balling out. LeBron's doing what he's doing. Howard is averaging 16 rebounds. Randolph's going off too with the rebounds. So NBA Finals game one, we win. The Nets win game two. Nets win game three. Oh, we're down 3-1. No, no. How are they beating us? All they have is Vince Carter and Gasol, which is nice. And we lose in four game in five games. Damn it. Oh, that's bittersweet. And Finals MVP is Pal Gasol. Alright guys, we're here at the NBA Draft, and we did have the Thunders pick, so that gave us the number, uh, uh, 22nd pick in the draft. I kind of want to keep this team together, this core, so I might just trade that pick, um, see what I can get for maybe that, and like, Murray's Harkless, uh, he went to, uh, St. John's, right? Yeah, uh, it's near me, that college, okay, I can actually get some nice players here, Elton Brand, a backup center, I just, What? Fred, Fred Hoiberg, I can get the Bulls coach, okay, I'm doing this deal, Fred Hoiberg, welcome to the Clippers, what the hell, <laughs> and it's got his coach pictures, it's some glitch or something, welcome, Fred Hoiberg, <laughs> to the Clippers, okay, I'll take it, that is, 
That is pretty cool. I don't care that he's a 72 overall. That is dope. All right, so I'm just going to skip you over the NBA draft and rookie signings and team player options. Uh, we probably need roster spots, so I'm going to bring that guy on. Carter, oh, I wish he left Brooklyn, damn it, because I feel like we're going to see them back in the finals next year. Lowry declined, and I didn't see the other person. Deontay Christmas, sure. I just want to bring back Zach Randolph, and he's testing for agency, but we do have bird rights. Steve Novak, I'm going to offer you back. This is 58 overall, sure. We just need roster spots. Um, but let's go to free agency. I need to bring, actually, we have cap space, too, or we did. I'm going to bring back Zach Randolph because I need him to start at power forward for us. Um, don't even plan on trading him, so I'm just going to give him a no trade clause and everything. Is that true? and Kelsky's is there. Uh, I swear, Randolph, don't accept another offer. There we go. We get Zach Randolph. That is dope. And now we're going to player progression, and we'll see the team. LeBron's a 99. Howard's a 94. Or it says 95 on that, but on the top left, it says 94. Harden's an 88. Curry's an 87. Crawford's an 8. No. Crawford's a 79. Randolph's an 82. What's Horberg? Did he go up? Oh, Horberg went down through overalls. Are you kidding me, 2K? He should be the GOAT. Him and Scalabrini. But, um, yeah, I think I'll see you guys at the end of next year's regular season. And, yeah, so I'm going to actually see where Chris Paul is at and then where Scalabrini is at because I think I might trade for Scalabrini. But I'll see you guys at the end of next year's regular season. End of season three, Russell Westbrook's your MVP. DeMarcus Cousins, rookie of the year. He is on the Nuggets. Oh, I forgot to show you guys last year's draft quest. It was like the one with Wall, Evan Turner, Wesley Johnson, DeMarcus Cousins, that one. Goran Dragic's next man of the year on the Suns. Uh, Dwight Howard, our defensive player of the year. Let's go. And Al Thornton, what? The guy we let go? Uh, right. But Doug Rivers, coach of the year. Derek Rose, wow. Just insane numbers. There's LeBron on OMB first team. Anybody else on L any OMB teams for us? Uh, there's Kobe to even make it. Uh, there he is on OMB third team. Actually, he has, is having a very nice career still, even though he would anyway. It's Kobe freaking Bryant. But yeah, we don't have any butts. LeBron did make all defense second team, and Howard made all defense first team. So we're taking on the Suns in the first round. But first, we did get the first seed 67 wins and 15 losses. I don't know why, but Chris Paul is not in this roster, and Scalabrini was asking for too much money for us to sign, so I couldn't get the two goats of him and Fred Hoiberg. But yeah, 67 to 15. Much better than last year's 58 and 24. So we were nine games better. Player stats, LeBron. Harden hit 20 points this year. Howard had 18 and 15. Oh my God. Curry had 17 down in points and assists. But everybody else was still doing pretty solid. Uh, league leaders, you can see that. Gordon Hayward, okay. Uh, fifth and po fourth in points. There's Blake Griffin. Wow. I don't know why. Th I thought the Sixers drafted him. Uh, but I guess not. So uh, why I'm at it, I'll show you guys the Suns roster of who we're going up in the first round. Wait, oh, I'm guessing that was the other Steve Nash that retired uh, two years ago. And this is the historic one. Okay. Bruce Bowen, Shaq. So this is actually a pretty tough team. This team won the finals two years ago. But we are up 2-0. Okay. I was a little bit scared, but we did make light work of them. I actually didn't even edit the rotations. Damon Rudez is in here. Wait, why isn't Fred Hoiberg can any minutes? I'm kidding. Uh, Dwight Howard can get 38. James can get 38. He can get uh, 37, and he can get 37. Why not? We'll give the starters. I'm putting all my faith into them. Harden can be the second, and then Curry can be the third. Why not? Taking on the Nuggets in round two. Uh, battle of the teams that never made it to the finals. Uh, well, the Clippers going on right now. Uh, have they? No, never made it to the Western Conference Finals, and this team never won a finals or went to the finals. Melo, Chauncey Bulbs, Gordon Richardson, Leandro Barbosa, Nene is there still. They have DeMarcus Cousins, too. So game one, uh, game one in round two, we do win. We do win game two, we do win game three, and oh, they win game four, and we are going to the Western Conference Finals and take on the Thunder, who of course have uh, Westbrook, Durant, Joe Johnson, oh man, former Hawk was a beast, and he was a beast on the Suns as well, don't know why they let them go, we are up 2 nothing. we're up 3 nothing. let's go, oh, 3-1, 3-2, no, don't go to game seven, yes, and revenge can be so sweet if we could pull it off. Take it on the Nets. They still got uh, Gasol and Carter, Brooke Lopez, Devin Harris, Wally Serbiak, Lamar Odom, Jeff Teague, Jared Dudley. All right. Please, Clippers, win this. We win game one. They win game two. Damn it. We're down 2-1. This can't happen again. No. Come on, win this game. This is a big one. Let's go. It's 2-2. LeBron, Harden, Beast out there. I still forgot to change Harden's name. We're up 3-2. Come on, win this game. We are in Brooklyn. Come on, we're playing well. No. Five to Hopman, I will. 
Okay, we're up by two with a minute 52. I'll see you guys when I'm in the game. All right, so we don't have the ball. The lineup is our starting lineup. Uh, Zach Randolph has a double-double. James Harden has 13 points. LeBron is 31-9. and nine. Dwight Howard has a double-double. Uh, Curry is 13-7. and seven. So, come on. Vince Carter on Harden. That's probably the main uh, matchup here. Probably not best putting Carden, who's not a good defender, on Carter. Howard, how are you letting Lopez go to the rack? And it's a tie game, 107 apiece. Okay, come on, Curry. Set up this offense. Um, all right, I see you. I see you, Dwight. No, you gotta... Okay, kick it out. Swing it. Curry for three. Curry from three. No, oh, that was such a bad shot. Why did I take that? This isn't 99, Steph Curry. He's only an 86 overall. Oh, man. Oh, Okay, Vince is going to the line. I can't lose this. I just got to give it to LeBron. I don't know why I'm trying to do much. I got to give it to LeBron and let him go to work. Uh, they're taking out Devin Harris and putting in Jeff Teague. And they're putting in Jared Dudley as well. So, we're just going to give it to LeBron here. Where is LeBron? Pump fake. Oh, don't turn it over. Don't turn it over, LeBron. No. Oh, man. Okay, Harden, play good D. Don't let Carter do anything here. Come on, LeBron. You're on Carter. Shut him down. Good defense, LeBron. All right. I'm so nervous. We're down by two. Come on, Curry. No, Lopez. Oh, my God. Brooke Lopez is tearing us apart. Uh, I should not have turned it over with LeBron. All right. LeBron just go to the rack. Number 23 still. Throw it down. All right. Two-point game. I'm cool with this. Let's go. All right. Come on. Harden on Carter, I definitely should switch that and pull LeBron on, but I have faith in Harden. This isn't real life Harden, this is 2K Harden. I'm going to let off ball because my off ball defense is terrible. Dwight Howard, defensive player of the year for a reason. We got numbers. Kick it to LeBron, throw it down. Let's go, tie game, tie game. Dwight Howard just stuffs one of the best dunkers of all time. Oh my god, in transition. All right, great defense. All right. Harden, stay with Carter. No, I got off Dudley. No, please don't go in. Zach Randolph. No, you cannot let him do that to you. All right, I don't care. This is LeBron mode. LeBron, beat Dudley. You're quicker than him. Um, Steph Curry, you are open, but I'm not taking that. Oh, drive, Curry. Zach Randolph, you better make this. Yes, let's go. Tie game. Uh, we might have to go into overtime here. All right, come on, Curry. Stay with Teague. He's got nothing on you, Curry. Oh, he just crushed you up. Oh, he missed it. Time out. And no, I didn't have enough time. Damn it. All right, I'm going to Simcast uh, the first part of overtime here. What the hell just happened? I thought we were in overtime. Uh, okay, you know what, 2K? I guess they gave us time left. I'm not even going to bother. I think we would have won anyway. But that's some 2K cheese for you. We'll see who wins finals MVP. And yeah, so that was going to be it for the video. LeBron James, Steph Curry, Harden, Zach Randolph, Dwight Howard, Jamal Crawford were pretty much the team. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments below and what team I should rebuild in the past next. And yeah, so hopefully this can get over 300 likes for you guys. And also follow me on Twitter because I always say what video is coming out that day of it's twitter.com slash section The link is always in the description. And your finals MVP is LeBron James, of course. So that is going to be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.